Hi there, Ian Selkirk, National Technical Account Manager, Alpha Technologies. I'm here today to talk about the disaster recover trailer system that you see behind me. This system consists of one power trailer and three equipment trailers and can be rapidly deployed in the field to replace a critical facility that has been damaged by fire, flood, ice storms, any of a number of natural events. So behind me you see the equipment trailer. Uh, this trailer is 53 foot long, so it meets the Ministry of Ontario transportation requirements. So you don't need a special permit for over height or over length. Uh, you see the two air conditioner units on the front. There is two on the back, very much the same. Uh, the structure of the system is a very heavy duty chassis, steel chassis, uh, with an air right suspension to protect the sensitive electronics. We're talking triple axle system, so 99,000 pounds rated and um, we also have this uh, fantastic aluminum extruded uh, wall construction that uses snap lock technology and is very robust and strong. So there's four leveling legs, one in each corner, and using those combined with the sight gauges for side to side and, and back to front, we can level the system to ensure that the equipment is all balanced internally. Also behind me, you can see the power connections. So this is the equipment trailer. So these would be connections from the equipment trailer over to the power trailer, an 800 amp, 208 volt service. So behind me, you can see the first of the three axles and the air suspension there, protecting those sensitive electronics again. We don't want any damage in transport. So the power trailer and the three equipment trailers include a number of underfloor compartments for storage of power cables, fiber optic cables, and any other equipment that needs to be kept with the trailer at all times. So this is the power trailer. It's 51 feet long. It's using fan cooling rather than HVAC, so it's uh, much more cost effective to run. It uses the same running gear, uh, except that we're using twin axle instead of triple axle, so it gives it a 79,000 pound rating. Same heavy duty chassis, same aluminum extruded snap lock construction. So these are the AC connections going from the power trailer over to the equipment trailer. 800 amp, 208 volt cam lock connection. So this is the power trailer. So inside the power trailer we have the um, incoming main switchboard. This is 1200 amps, 600 volt. It goes from there to the uh, 500 kVA transformer in the back. We have some automatic transfer switches to select between one of two generators. And uh, we also have the AC distribution cabinet beside me here. And from here we feed those cam lock panels and connect to the equipment trailers. So in the power trailer we have alarming communications just like we do in the equipment trailers. We're using the TLAN system for that. Behind me, you see the exhaust fans that are used to vent hot air out of the box. But again, we're not running HVAC and wasting money. So behind me, we see the stairs, how they neatly stow away inside the trailer for transportation. So each of the trailers, power and equipment, are equipped with security cameras, as well as emergency lighting systems for safety. So this is the equipment trailer. So let me take you through the power flow in the equipment trailer. Power comes into the AC distribution panel and from there is fed to the DC power system and the AC inverter system. So this is the AC inverter system. Uh, this is using the AMPS 24, 20, 24 kVA system, 122 40 volt output consisting of 16 1.5 kVA inverters. So it'll provide backup for critical equipment that has an AC input requirement. So this is the Cordex. CXPS D2500 amp 48 volt power system, 120 kilowatt, consisting of 30 4 kilowatt rectifiers, and in the top we have 96 circuits for distribution of 48 volt power to all the critical equipment in this facility. Door mount controller with the Cordex controller featuring SNMP, web server, battery monitoring, a very advanced controller. So for backup for the DC power system, we have two racks of six strings of SPS 190 Enersys batteries in each rack. Uh, this will give us approximately 45 minutes of runtime at full design load of 97 kilowatts 
and almost two hours at the current load level of 50 kilowatts. So each of the strings of batteries has its own dedicated 250 amp circuit breaker to allow disconnect for easy serviceability and we also have temperature probes for monitoring the temperature of the batteries and ensuring correct float voltage under all conditions. So on the wall beside me we have a small AC circuit breaker panel for distributing non-critical loads and behind me we have the inlet and, ex and outlet of the six ton barred HVAC units. So behind me you'll see the cable trays that are used for the power cables, communication cables, alarm cables, also the yellow fiber tray to uh, house the fiber optic cables. So on the wall beside me we have the ver very early smoke detection apparatus system, uh, the Honeywell uh, fire detection system, as well as a standard master ground bar for the facility. Uh, so this is the AC panel for distributing the power coming out of the inverter system. So this is critical AC. So these are the lead lag controllers for the barred six-ton HVAC units. 